Hello Rob, my name is Josh Lewis. I wanted to say thank you for all the time you took to teach me how to cube and post your videos. Anyway, my thank you comes in a strange form. I wanted to show you a new algorithm. Anyway, uh, let me show that to you. It's really cool. It really bothered me when, when you did the last face of the cube. And you solved that and looked at the corners and the corners were all random. You could do one algorithm and then rotate the cube and do another algorithm and you could solve this random cornerness but I knew there had to be one way to solve all the corners at once and I figured out this this is a long algorithm but it's not as bad as the parity cases on big cubes anyway it's actually pretty easy to do and it's the shortest number of moves to do it. Um, this solves all the crazy corners and if you follow my positioning guide it either solves the top solves the cube outright or it usually gives you your one Allen or reverse Allen away from solving the cube. So the people who solve the centers first this works for them. Um, I mean people who solve the edges first this works for them as it doesn't mess up these people who don't solve the centers center edge of piece first you do these moves the crazy corners are gone my positioning guide is to look for the red center edge and if there's a green one next to it to the left under my left thumb um, you're good to go. If there's not green here next to the red, just turn it 90 degrees one way or the other. If there's green here, good to go. If there's not green here, turn it 90 degrees. This always solves all the corners, but if you reposition it, it may solve the whole top face or usually leaves you one Allen or reverse Allen away from being solved. This just nukes crazy corners. Um, so I'm going to apply it. I'm going to go right, up, backward, left, down to, left, backward, up, right, backward, left, up, backward, right, down to, right, backward, up, left, backward from crazy corners to solved. 